Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Convicted here. Um, so I've had the privilege of uh, playing in the P uh, PTS server all morning, and I've been messing with the uh, the doctrinal uh, alchemy quite a bit. Um, I dived into it. I've done countless numbers of combinations, get different ratios, different aspects of this for you guys um, to explain better how it works, and to also explain the get fucked factor to it. But we'll get into that when we get there. Um, so yeah, guys, let's dive right into it and get you guys a better explanation of how this works. And uh, that way you guys are better prepared for the beginning of this season. So first and foremost, guys, I really want to explain um, the joke I made about the get fucked factor. It's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. So I don't know if anybody is familiar with the BDO mechanics of sending stuff and having your stuff blow up. It's not that bad, but... There is a possibility when you send all of your stuff, you get back one purple doctrine. And what I mean is this. You could take, say, the maxed out version of anything, by the way, um, and put all... It, the equivalent is just putting is putting eight purple doctrines. No matter what tier they are, no matter what kind, purple doctrines. I'm just going to put it like that. That's the easiest way to make the cap make sense because there is different levels to these. But they all have the same equivocal value. Including these, which are, these are representative of purple doctrines, okay? So these give you the chance of 13% to get a tier 5 at max. These give you 15% to get a tier 4 at max. They also give you a 32% to get a tier 3. Then you have your 17% to get a tier 2. And then you have a 23% chance to get a tier 1 or... An epic wisdom, which this is an epic wisdom. That counts for one purple doctrine. Okay, that's the get fucked factor. If you roll that, you put in all of these to get back one of these. And let me tell you what, I've rolled a ridiculous amount of them this morning. And I understand it. It's not supposed to be easy, guys, to get this doctrine. I understand it. I played BDO. I understand the odds. I understand how this works. Um... So the best way I'm going to explain this to you guys, being a veteran player in that type of scenario, is do not overstack. Learn your averages, learn your odds going into this, and I'm going to further explain that to you guys. I'm going to run one just to show you guys exactly what I mean. So you combine. Say this is the, the highest percentage you could do without using a stone, which I'll explain that later as well. So we just combine those. Boom. Get fucked. Okay. That's, that happened the first time. That's awesome. Get fucked. Okay. So we got back one stone. After putting in eight purple doctrines, and that's what I what I meant by I want you guys to learn from this video and to take my knowledge as far as MMOs and how this kind of uh, mechanic works and use it for yourself. Okay, so I have plenty of these, so I'm going to use these, and this will probably be the most familiar way for you guys to be with it. These are just regular purple doctrines. It doesn't matter. The RNG is there. Okay, it is there. All right. It's there to get random anything. You are going to get random doctrines. Okay. I could do it like this. And like I said, any purple, it's going to give you 13%. You could use a pure wisdom, which we're going to, from what I can tell, they're going to be available at the end of, I, I want to say the battle pass and the fame store. Not so sure on the battle pass, but definitely on the fame store. I did see them in there um, at the end of it. And these are going to not double your odds, but close to it. But still, you still have a 19% chance to get to work to these, use it, and still get fucked. This is what I mean about overstacking. If you've ever played BDO, I've sent earrings with 70% chance of going through and watch them blow up on a great stack. And it makes no sense. But I learned to not overstack and send my jewelry with the 30% chance. So I'm going to show you an average that I learned here that I believe is going to be the best way and most efficient way to farm these. And that is going to be using two purples. And the rest blues. Okay, you're going to do this. And in doing this, you're still going to have... Turn that pure wisdom off. You're still going to have a 10% chance compared to 13% with all eight purples, right? You're not sacrificing all eight of your purples. You're only using two and using the rest blue, okay? And in that, you still have a 25% chance to get fucked. But you have a 23% the other way. So let's show that again. You have a 23% this way to still get fucked, right? And I can just go with these and just use these to make it quick for you guys. Okay? Still 23% chance. Because in hindsight for me, I'm shooting for these two top ones. Okay? I don't care about these ones. You're going to be rolling this a lot. That percentage is going to be around there. It's a 23% chance to get fucked. 
and you have your 15% chance or your 13% chance to get what you want, right? And then you have, if you remove all of these, right? Because that's a big cost to have that little of a chance. That's a big cost, man. It's a big investment. Or you can just go like this. And you still have, so you have a 25%, you still have a 10% chance with just using blues to still hit that. Don't get me wrong. If you're a veteran player and you have, like we have on a PTS server, and you have a thousand purple doctrines, have at it, bro. Do what you want. But for people like me, I am limited on the resources I have. I need to optimize my chances of getting a tier four, or tier five doctrine and bettering my chances at a more efficient farm. And this is what I found. Um, so using this, you still have a 10% chance. And I've done this. And even using the pure blacks, the pure stone, it's still better on mats. You know what I'm saying? Because you still get a 17% chance. You reduce this to 20% chance. It's still way better. You know what I mean, just overall, if you have the purples to burn, burn them. You know what I mean? Burn them if you wanted to do that. Um, I'll explain what this bar does later on in the video. But for me personally, not using this pure wisdom, just flat out sending the doctor in to try to hit a better doctor in. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to try to do a couple of them to show you why I believe this is the best way. Okay, because you still have the chance to get like like this. Not saying these are bad doctrines. I'm just saying they're you're shooting for fours and fives, right? That's what you want on a tier list. On a tier list, you're going to be farming that. So you're going to be sending quite a bit of these over and over and over and over, guys. Um, and I'll do, my, I'll do my best to keep this quick here and go fast about it, guys, so you're not watching an hour-long video on this. But we're going to send it a few times and hope we get. Um, and by the way, guys, you could do this, and your chances are slightly higher doing all eight. That's why I'm doing it this way. So you guys can get a representation of how bad this really is on trying to roll that tier five. You know what I mean? So you get fucked. But imagine if that was all eight. You only have a 3% higher chance to get the actual doctor in. Um, oh, see, that's that's not the way I do it. Sorry about that. That is going to be way too much. For me, that's a waste, man. I'm going to be farming these, and it's just going to be a waste of purple doctrines. You know what I mean? To just get the one. And when I tell you I got fucked quite a bit of times doing this, and I did it n so many times, I just, I just, look, see, there you go, boom. It's just not worth sending eight. It's just not worth it. Watch, we'll do eight right here, and we'll send them. And hopefully we get a tier five, but I really doubt it, man. I really doubt it. It's just, it's just, the risk to reward is not worth it on an average. You know what I mean? Because look, boom, you just got a low one. And you sent eight doctrines for that, and that only counts as one on a reroll. You know what I mean? Because that's not your goal. Your goal is to not get those. Your goal is to get tier fives, right? And I, my luck was way better doing this ratio. Because I, I, you know what I mean? Over average, you're going to have a better shot sending these than you are eight uh, purples. You're going to have a better, better average. You're going to be able to accumulate this kind of send faster than you will eight purples. And if you see this bar filling up on the bottom, I'm going to explain exactly what that does and how it works. That's a tier four. It gives you like a little teaser if you see the outside of it, right? And that was a good, that's a decent roll. We'll take that. Um, so this is RNG on top of RNG, guys. Not only are you rolling to get um, the roll on the doctor in fours and fives is what you're trying to get. Not only are you rolling for that, but once you roll that and say you do get a five, you're rolling on top of that. To get the doctrine you want so this is rng on top of rng i don't think this is meant to be easy so i'm trying to show you guys the best possible way to average out your sends to make the farming better versus trying to 13 percent is not a lot guys sending all eight of these and having a 13 percent shot at getting what you want is terrible you still have a 23 percent chance that's only two percent better than what i'm saying at using dropping six of these purples off of here bro and using six blues in place. You know what I mean? It's just far more efficient to do it this way and roll. Because if you get this, you're going to be mad. At, you're going to be sad. A lot of players. I've seen countless numbers of players quit BDO because they would send on high stacks. They'd send full mats, go full balls to the wall, and their stuff would blow up. Like that was the equivalent of blowing up right in this game. You go like this and you get one back or you get that back. You get a tier one doctor and like that or you get a you get a one doctor in back. That's the equivalent of a blow up. People will quit games more when I, I don't want to see that. I want you guys to use this and know that uh, this is just the, the what I see as the most efficient way to farm this without blowing your head off and being like this sucks, you know, because it's going to be a grind, dude. I don't think this is meant to be easy. This is meant to be to not you're not meant to just do this in one day and have full on full blown tier five doctrines, guys. 
So using two of these, if you're seeing if you're seeing how I'm rolling these right now, um, I'm rolling on a 10% shot to get the tier five. I still haven't got one. But the role is to get as many to get as many rolls as you can. And you can see here, guys, you get this quite a bit. You get this quite a bit, guys. And um, I'm going to go until we get a tier 5 so you guys can see. And then I'm going to roll a bunch of the tier 8 so you can also see. But this is just the way I think it should be done. Um, drop in the comments. Let me know below what you guys feel should be better if you feel there's another way to do this. But, I mean, I, I'm a veteran BDO player, guys. Like, I come with a group from veteran BDO. And let me tell you what, dude. We have sent countless numbers of jewelry amongst us. And we learn, we learn to not overstack. Because the punishment on overstacking is so bad. Like if you put eight, if you put eight doctrines in, and they f it fails, and you get the one, you're gonna be upset that you put that many materials in, guys. I promise you. Like, do not overstack these guys. So this guarantees me. So the way this works. Now I filled this bar up. They all have a different value going in. Purples are worth 50. That means you need, I believe, uh, or it's worth maybe. Ah, I'll figure it out right now. Um, I think it's 50. So you need like. 50 of them or it's 500 so you need 50 uh, i gotta look 50 so you need 50 of them i think that's what it is um so it guarantees you a tier five this is going to guarantee a tier five so at this point boom see it you know you got a tier five this is the outlet they didn't even tell you that we rolled a random one so that's your boom let's see what we get here doctrine is enhanced uh for a single unit it's for archeries and it unlocks uh let's see as it levels you can unlock uh, arrow rain deals 75% of the unit's base uh, base piercing damage with each hit. Increases piercing damage by 150 points. That's a good archery one. Um, but see, now the bar is reset. We can still keep going because I'm not going to count that as a hit. Because we haven't hit. That was just, you just put in enough to get the bar going. And you guys can see this is, this is not, this is not going to be an easy thing, man. This is going to be constant. Um, you're going to be doing this quite a bit. And this is subject to change, guys. Um, I'm just giving you guys what I know as of right now in the PTS. This is how you do it. Um, I'm going to keep explaining this to you guys uh, further. I mean, feel free to skip backward and forward through the video. There's going to be a lot of information in this video. So for the greens, guys, I'm going to keep going through this, but I'm going to start explaining the greens. I would not put the greens in to send for like an actual send. And I'll explain that in the, here. Once we get a tier 5, hopefully we get one. We're still not getting one here. I'm going to keep going, guys. I want you guys to see, like, really how bad this is on a grind. Like, it could be a bad grind. But then again, I'm telling you, I sat there and sent 8 purples about 20 times. Failed every single one of them. Like, like literally, dude, I pulled, like, 16 of these out. <laughs> Your RNG can be terrible, and I just... The reason I'm saying to do this is because I don't want to see people do it the other way and be like, this sucks. I'm quitting the game. I don't want to play this. It sucks. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are like, oh, well, you got to stack up for the highest percentage. I'm telling you, overstacking will get you. It will It will make you mad. It will make you mad. So using two and six blues, I've found, is the way to get 10%. And it'll give you 10% on average on your hit, which is, I mean, it's 3% under, uh, 3, 3 under the 13 that you get. Um, with all eight, that's not bad returns, guys, for your for your material investments. That's not bad. Um, I mean, it's it's basically you're gambling. You're putting up your mats. This is your equivalent going into your roll, and that's what you want to see if you what you get. You know, it's RNG on top of RNG. So not only are you going to be rolling this to try to get the tier five, but you're going to be rolling for the one you want. Let me tell you what, and that <laughs> that is a whole another story. That is a whole another beast, guys. It is a ten percent chance to go through, guys. I've hit pen armor. I hit a pen disto on BDO, guys. I know how bad this could be on average wise. I'm trying to get, but it's not blunt. Oh, tier five. We got one, guys. There you go. Boom. And let's see what this one is. It is a labor and resource. That can also happen. And for anybody that doesn't farm, that's a F. That's a fail. That's a fail for anybody. You know what I mean? So that's another part of it, guys. But we did hit one, so I'm going to move on to the next part of it. But that, that, like I said, you're going to be trying to get the most bang for your buck on sending. And I do believe that this is going to be the way to do it, guys. It's going to give you the most on buildup. It's going to give you the most attempts. It's going to give you the most bang for your buck out of using your purples instead of just putting all eight of them. And then you get fucked and you're mad about it. You know, it's, I, think it's, I think that's going to be the way to go. So greens. 
I, the reason I say don't use greens is because their value is not valued very high. So putting these in, you, like, see, you still only have, you only have a 4% chance. You have a 43% chance to get one of these. But that, so this, this isn't bad as far as you're turning these into purples. All your greens are just going to get turned into purples. And that just gives you more attempts to have towards purples. And if you stack up a shit ton of purples, hey, have at it. You know what I mean? Go for three. Try to get the 11%, whatever. I'm just trying to get you the most hits as possible. So you're just using these. And I did hit fives, guys. I did get like crazy lucky and hit fives. So don't think it's not possible. It is. Is it going to happen? Probably not. But, you know, it's in there. You know what I mean? It is in there. Some people are going to be like, oh, man, I can't believe I hit that many today. You know, that's a possibility, guys. That could happen. So I would just use these solo, put these together, boom, send them, and you're going to accumulate your purples this way. With your whites, I believe it's the same exact thing. Um, Let's see. Are these it? I believe these are it. Yeah, these are it right here. See, it only gives you a 3% chance, right? They're kind of glitched out right now. They're not showing, but these are the white ones. They got a green face on them. Sorry. But those are supposed to be like your gray doctrines. Yeah, they don't have a green hue. They have a gray hue. But okay. So it's only got 3%, but it's got a 48% chance to go on that. You have a very small percentage. I wouldn't mix these on an actual attempt to go for a high tier at all. I would just keep these and keep using these to make purples. To, again, to go for your actual hits to attempt to go for a tier 4 or a tier 5 hit. So you guys see that. There you go. So you just keep doing that, right? So that's how those work. And that will build up this bar. This is guaranteed. So hitting a tier 5 does not reset this bar. You can still fill. You can hit a tier 5 as you've seen and still fill this bar. This is just going to be the most efficient way, and I want you guys to really see. So that's explaining this and how this works, guys, and how this works. It's really RNG on top of RNG, so I really want you guys to take this video. Please like and share it. I have done so much grinding on BDO, guys. I'm telling you. Like, there, it's going to be very rare that you actually get a Tier 4 like you did right there. It's going to be more, and you're using high-tier mats to do this, guys. You're using all your mats to do this. And you can still get screwed. That's why I'm saying it could be bad. Like, look, boom, high tier mats, and you got screwed. You know, it's going to be really bad. Like, I, this is a PTS. So I am able to keep banging these for you guys to show you guys how this works, man. Um, you guys aren't going to be using an unlimited uh, mat supply. You're going to have a limited amount of mats. So, like, off rip, I already know. Look, that's just super lucky. Look, let's see what we got. Tier 5, toughness and life doctrine. Oh, it's another life. <laughs> it's okay. But, uh, you know, that could happen, man. You roll a tier 5 and you get a life doctor. And that was a health one. So, I mean, at least it had the health. But you have a 13%. Look, like it goes either way, guys. And the reason I say, yes, you do have a slightly higher percentage to get it. three, uh, 13% over the 10%. But you, have such, you still have such a high chance to get one back when you're putting eight in. It's such a high chance to get one back, guys. And I'm telling you. It does hurt. It will hurt your feelings over time, guys. I mean, I played extensive BDO. These kind of things will drive you crazy because you're putting in high. You're like, I'm going max. I'm putting in the max. I'm using the pure wisdoms. Watch this. Like, I'm using the pure wisdoms. I'm putting in max amount of a max amount of materials. I have the highest chance I could have, 21%. I should be guaranteed, right? I'm guaranteed to hit a tier five. Boom, we got it right there. Hell yeah, you're happy you got it. Now you just rolled and it's crossbow infantry. You're gonna be mad as shit, bro. Because <laughs> it wasn't exactly what you wanted. You know what I mean? You're thinking you're going to get. You're not. You are not going to get exactly. <laughs> Let's try it again. Boom. Maximum try, guys. So we got a tier 5 on the last one. Do we get it? We got it again. We got lucky. Thank God. Look, we got a cat. We Oh, that's a good one. Whole arm infantry. I wish I had more of these when I was trying in the PTS, man. And uh, I'm telling you, I rolled... I rolled that thing so many times, dude. It was so unfortunate, guys, because this is going to be straight RNG. So now we're back to the 13. We rolled two tier fives right there. I mean, that was that was super lucky. I'll take it. But that's going to be your maximum try if you want to maximize that and get a 20% chance to roll a tier five. That's up to you guys. I'm just saying the uses of match is so high that... It sucks when it doesn't go right. Like the la that one didn't go right. Let's see how this one goes. This one didn't go right. That's only a tier two, tier two, tier three maybe. Let's see, tier three. Like those suck. Like I'm sorry. Like if you're rolling doctrines, I'm not shooting for twos and threes. You're shooting for fours and fives. 
So when you're sending in this many mats and you get that back, or you get a tier one, or you get a tier two, which that is a high possibility of getting back, guys. That sucks when you're trying to do this over and over and over and over, and you don't have this unlimited resource pool. You have to grind to get these. So you're going to want to maximize your attempts at getting these, guys. That's the point I'm trying to make here. And I hope I hope it resonates with at least some of you guys. If you if you appreciate this video, man, please drop a like, share, comment, guys. I mean, I have been down these roads many times, man. I have blown up so much jewelry and BDO that I learned my lesson to one. Do not overstack your stack. Do not send in too many materials because you will regret it in the end. Like you need to go like it's a law of averages in this stuff, dude. And you're like you're you're getting a 13% over over a 10% shot. You know what I mean? And we're doing decent right now, but I mean I'm also I'm also smacking unlimited mats. There's gonna be people that do exactly what I am doing, and they are gonna roll one mat back every single time, and they are gonna be furious. And I mean you're you're rolling really really close in averages, man, by just going just going like this. Boom. Two purples, blues, blues, and just sticking right in here. This is what I believe. This is going to be my personal pocket. I'm going to stay in this pocket just because I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to have the most bang as, as I miss bang for my buck being that I am still a fairly new player to the game. I do not have a huge resource pool. I do not have countless amounts from 13 past seasons of doctrines. I am still trying to get my stuff together in the game. So I need to make every hit count. And for new players, I believe this will help new players as well. If you guys are trying to get in, you're not going to have an unlimited resource pool like most players. To come in and hit these, you are going to need to be able to get the most bang for your buck to catch up to previous. Look, I got a tier 5 right there. Boom. You see, that was only a few hits, and I got one. Double fire doctrine. That's a good one for infantry. You know, so... And there are some pretty cracked out... Doctrines in here guys. I'm gonna do another video because that's gonna be a whole nother thing to explain this But please like share and subscribe if you like this guy's video if you uh, if you like this video If you guys need any more explanation, please drop a question in the comments and I will answer it Um, feel free to check me out on twitch. I will be on the preview I have some videos up extensive use of this on my twitch. You can see me failing massive amounts of times It's convicted gamer. The link will be in the bio in the description um, thank you guys. Appreciate your guys' support and watching. You guys have a good day, man. See you guys out there.